Welcome to our virtual law legal analysis series. In today's episode, we will discuss the case of People v. Caballero GR No. 149,028-30, 400-424. This landmark case was decided by the Supreme Court of the Philippines on April 2, 2003. Let's dive right into it. Facts On August 3, 1994, Armando, Robito, and Marciano Caballero were drinking in the house of their brother Ricardo in the Mondragon compound. Eugene Tayaktak and Arnold Barcama arrived at the Sari Sari store of Wilma Bros, which was across the Mondragon compound. Armando approached Eugene and asked him in an angry tone, Jean Mopalitka? Jean, will you buy? Eugene replied, what is this all about? We don't have any quarrel between us. Armando left the store, but stood by the gate of the barbed wire fence of the Mondragon compound. A few minutes later, Armando stabbed Eugene with a knife. Robito then stabbed Leonilo, who was trying to help Eugene. Arnold was also stabbed, but he survived. The accused were charged with murder and frustrated murder. They were convicted by the Regional Trial Court of San Carlos City, Negros Occidental, Branch 57. The Court of Appeals affirmed the conviction. Issue Whether or not the accused are both guilty of murder and frustrated murder. Ruling the Supreme Court also affirmed the conviction. The court held that the accused were guilty of conspiracy to commit murder and frustrated murder. The court also found that all of the accused were equally liable for the deaths of Leonilo and Eugene and for the injuries of Arnold. Significance the case of People vs. Caballero is a significant case because it clarifies the law on conspiracy to commit murder. The court held that all of the accused in the case were equally liable for the deaths of Leonilo and Eugene, even though only Armando stabbed Eugene and only Robito stabbed Leonilo. This is because the accused had a common design to kill Eugene and Leonilo, and they all participated in the commission of the crime. The case also clarifies the law on frustrated murder. The court held that Arnold was the victim of frustrated murder, even though he survived the stabbing. This is because Arnold was in imminent danger of death when he was stabbed. The case of People vs. Caballero is an important precedent for cases involving conspiracy to commit murder and frustrated murder. That's all for this episode. Stay tuned for more legal insights in our future episode. Remember, understanding landmark case helps us comprehend the intricacies of our legal system. See you next time. Like and subscribe.